Help's on the way for people in Spartanburg County having trouble making ends meet. 7 News' Melanie Palmer tells us how county leaders are hoping to access federal money to help. Two of some of the biggest financial hurdles we're told people are facing since this pandemic began paying their rent and utilities. However, the people here at Spartanburg County's Community Development Department are working quickly to fill that gap. This is the place Kathy Rivers has spent a lot of her time. This map showing the community she serves. We're here to work for them. We do, and we want to help them. Through her years of working here, she has heard a lot of somber stories. A lady called today and she said, you know, my roof needs to be replaced, but I, I need my medicine. How do you make the decision? However, this pandemic making calls like that far more common. But relief is on the horizon. We searched for these dollars because we found out that the Department of the Treasury, which of course is a different funding source, had funds available. Spartanburg County leaders are asking for federal dollars, 9.6 million to be exact. That money is slated to help with the cost of rent and utilities for people who have lost their jobs or suffered some sort of loss of income since March 30th of 2020. But the majority of the funds that we have dispersed into the community have been for rental assistance. The county's partner agencies are seeing that need firsthand. Rent assistance is definitely the biggest. It's wonderful to have this vital infusion of resources into our community at such a critical period. Those agencies are just a couple that will help distribute those funds to landlords and utility providers. We want all our citizens to have access to the program. Money that would allow Rivers to continue her mission. People have been affected in so many different ways, you know. Mm -hmm. So this makes us feel good that we're going to be able to help more people. Serving the community she cares about so deeply. Rivers tells us agencies will need to verify with landlords and utility providers that these funds are needed. The money has to be allocated by September 30th. In Spartanburg, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. So applicants will need to prov provide their household income information. The timeline still being worked out between the county and other partner agencies. They will have that on their website, they say, as soon as the information is available.